Hello and welcome to GadgetTherapy.com Just upgraded my new my Samsung S3 to the new software Jelly Bean 4.2.1 and um, just had a little play with it this morning just uh, going to share some of the features that it contains and um, just basically share what I know with you Firstly you'll notice there's a little tab in the corner which lets you pull out uh, a widget screen and you can scroll through these basically they're pre-installed already by the Android think you can swap them around and uh, and change them for what you want we are also what you can do now is you can keep your finger on one pull one out like that keep your finger on the other pull that one out and this is called multi-screen these screens, these apps are both live. You can search the internet, search the maps or whichever apps you've got. You can swap them around. Um, let me have a look. Like that. One for the bottom, one for the top. You can also make each one bigger. And that becomes the dominant one. Let's get rid of them. Also, what's included in the new software is something called Page Buddy. Now, Page Buddy is basically set up for mainly accessories. So, for saying, say you plugged in your headphones, it would bring up a home screen that is best suited to them headphones. So, like the music player or anything else, like recent apps that have been used with the headphones, that will bring up as well. There's also a new thing called All Share Cast, which is basically when you're on an internet, you can now share all, well, it has to be on a network, not the internet, on a home network. If anybody's got a device like a computer or another mobile phone or a TV or anything, you can basically, obviously, TV has to be Wi Fi enabled. It can share your pictures and your documents and stuff like that. Anything you want to share, you can share within that network. But also just be aware that obviously that becomes open then. That information is open. So you basically have to watch and make sure that you know that information that you're sharing is then unsecure until you close down the share app. And then it becomes, you know, secure again just to your phone. Also, I'd like to say by saying this phone is not rooted so it's not open like jail rooted basically for the people who don't know is like jailbreak for the iPhone it basically you download it for your computer install it to your phone and you can mess around with the functions that Android wouldn't normally let you mess about with just like the jailbreak you can change like displays and stuff like that and also download third-party apps that, again you wouldn't normally be able to download only thing to be aware on this system is that obviously some of the downloads have an adverse effect and um, you know you take that risk when you download it that's down to you nobody expect, accepts responsibility only you um, also another uh, app another sorry addition is basically your camera is now set up for low light shots and basically uh, also has a, um, a burst mode where you can stick your hand on your finger on and it basically takes a load of photos don't not absolutely sure it works with the flash um, I know it works without the flash because um, I've tried it let's have a go if you see there you have to keep your finger on it so let it just set up Keep your finger on that, there you go. And that'll take 20 shots around about, and then you know you can pick the best one. It also has a thing called Best Face, which is basically you can take a few pictures of one scene and then basically pick out the best picture that you think's the best. And you know, like I said before, it has a low light for dark shots, darker in darker atmospheres, darker areas, it has a new app, has a new like addition to the camera app to help you do that you also get another couple of apps you get that group cast which is the one I was telling you where you can share your photos with anybody that's on your network 
you also get Paper Artist which is like a drawing app I think what you can do is open up you know pictures and then colour them in or you know make them look like they're drawn as opposed to a photo just like that one there and you have all these different effects that you can apply and you know like that so it's pretty cool I haven't used it yet so obviously I don't know the whole ins and outs of that but from what I can see it's quite a simple app to use you know and it, you can enhance pictures you know make them fun and share them and stuff like that let's get out of that yes don't want to say that you can also get a new Chrome app Google Chrome basically you can sign in with Google Plus Gmail and all that and that links everything together also probably link your YouTube as well because obviously Google own YouTube and just basically link it all into one system which is pretty cool because that will save all your latest um, or your most frequently visited websites and stuff like that so that's pretty cool and that's that and in also the I have a third party SMS app so it doesn't work on that but apparently there's a new addition to the Samsung input the keyboard where you can stroke across like that rather than leave the key the keyboard I haven't tried that yet I've only read about that so obviously I can't really give you too much information on that because I don't know much about it also on uh, the actual internet you get the reader app where you can read um, I think it pulls out the what you are reading and makes it full screen rather than have the whole website on there and it's a bit like the I think the reader on the iPhone so that's quite a good app and that's basically all the information I've got for you at the moment just to let you know that I will be using this some further I've only had it downloaded since this morning so obviously I've not been able to go through all the features but there's quite a few few new features on there um, and basically that's it so please don't forget to subscribe and like because it does help me out a lot thank you very much bye